the alna bone. This is the bone I'm holding. This one is known as the alna bone. First of all, you should know how to hold it anatomically. This is the anatomical position of the alna bone. Second is to identify which side is, whether it is of the right side or the left side. Very simple. This one, you can see that this is the trochlear node. It should be towards anterior and superior means up. Then you have that the styloid process, it should be downward and towards the medial side. So if it is facing from the medial side from this one, this is known as the lateral bone. And if it's facing here, it is known as the right-hand side bone, that is the side determination. Now coming to the general features, it consists of two ends. This is the proximal end, this is the distal end, and it consists of the shaft. Now coming here, it consists of two processes. You can see the upper one, it is known as the styloid process, and this is the olecranon process. And between them, they form a notch that is called as the drop here. This was of the upper end of the ulna. Then coming to the shaft, it consists of your three surfaces. One is the anterior surface, the posterior surface, and the lateral surface. And the lateral surface is the shaft. Then coming to the lower end of the ulna, this is the lower end of the ulna, and it forms a process called as the styloid process, which forms the head of the ulna. That was all for you.